Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Spotlight, and today we're looking at Megabyte Punch by Reptile Games. This game is available for $7.50 on Daystore or from their website, and they also have a green light campaign going, so I'll drop a link in the description for all of those. And definitely go give them a thumbs up, because this game is... well, it's a blast, to put it simply. <laughs> now this is a side-scrolling, beat -em up platforming fighting game. Uh, not dissimilar to, to Brawl, I'd say this is basically the PC's answer to a brawl game, so I really hope this game does get a, a good following and has a lot of online multiplayer support, because this game does have a multiplayer aspect to it, but right now we are playing the single player game, and I I don't have friends, so I haven't <laughs> I haven't played the, um, the multiplayer, so I'm ill-informed on that aspect, but definitely check it out. Uh, if you have friends, unlike me, then, then I'm sure it is a lot of fun. It's a lot similar to, oh god, very similar to what how brawl works in multiplayer. Except it has less emphasis on item pickups for damage, and more emphasis on picking up parts from enemies that you kill. Now this guy drops, I believe he dropped uh, this poly circuit's hip, increases all movement speed by 10% and slightly increases jump height. Now when you get a part, you can press A to equip it. I'm using an Xbox controller, by the way. And so right now, it seems as if this can only go to your belt area, so I'll equip it to my belt, and I am a decent amount faster actually. Okay, now we just entered a room where we have to kill all the enemies to clear it. And this should be no problem, the enemies are pretty easy in the early stages of the game. I am on level 2 right now. But, uh, they're pretty easy. Oh god, th what's this guy doing? <laughs> they're pretty easy at this point in the game. I assume they will be getting a little bit more difficult as I play more. Now, each... Hold on, let me just kill this guy, because he is he's being a little vicious here. <laughs> he's kicking my butt. Uh, each level has multiple stages to it, I believe they have two or three, maybe four stages, depending on the level. And at the end of each level, there is a boss fight. And let me tell you, the boss fights are pretty rough. Uh, and the way this, I would say this is very similar to Brawl, is that in the bottom left corner, you see I have different attacks up here. If I do up, it does, does like a little rocket attack. If I go, if I just stand here and press B to attack, it will shoot a... A little Mega Man blaster type thing. If I do right and B, it'll it'll do this little drill attack, which is different parts that I have equipped. So let's just kill these little goons here, and then we can progress on the level. But uh, and also above that little drill part right here that I am highlighting right now is your damage. Once you reach about 300 damage, you will in fact die. And depending on depending on how much damage you have taken, you will be. Let me see how I can explain this. In Brawl, or Super Smash Brothers, rather, the higher your damage is, the more, I guess, uh, subject to being blasted off the side of the screen you are. It's very similar to this. So, if, let's say I have 290 damage and I get hit. Uh, I'll get hit harder and go flying a little bit further. And once you hit the edge of the screen, it does a s similar sort of blast thing and you will lose a life. And the lives are indicated by the little floppy disk below the drill. Let's see where we need to go. Looks like we need to go left, which is kind of contrary to uh, the platformers, but that is quite alright. Switch it up a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. But I would definitely say that this game is definitely worth a 750. I've been playing it probably about, oh god, probably maybe 45 minutes now. Um, so, I should also know, there we go, this game is in beta, so anything you see here is in fact subject to change, and it is subsec- Subject to uh, bugs. Die, you little fool. Alrighty. What did he drop? Let's see. Oop. He dropped a submachine gun arm. I am going to switch that up for this little blaster. I'll put it right there. That's pretty cool. Now, you notice that I dropped that part. That is because my inventory, quote unquote inventory, is a little bit full. So if you. Run across a full inventory, you can actually store the parts by going to this store part option and pressing A. It'll put them all in your little quote-unquote piggy bank. And that'll allow me to pick up more parts. If you don't deposit all your parts or equip them before going on to the next stage of the level or the next level, they will in fact be uh, discarded and you will lose them. Where, does, where do you think you're going, dude? So as you see, I am taking 100, I have 159 damage on me and I am taking quite a pounding and I'm more 
subject to getting hit further and harder. I really like that mechanic. It adds... I think it adds a little bit. And that's one of the mechanics I actually liked a lot in, in Super Smash Brothers. Okay. I'm not sure what these enemies are. I've never seen them before. I guess they're... Oh, God! <laughs> that actually killed me, but that's okay. That's, that's good to see that I died. At least it spawned us right at this checkpoint. And... No, it didn't, didn't respawn any enemies, so that is good. Kind of has like a Ninja Gaiden wall running type aspect to it right there. Yeah. And it's actually kind of kind of neat because you don't... Oh god, get off of that. You don't actually have to press A to, to jump up walls. You can just sort of flick your left analog stick left and right to climb up the walls, which I find a nice little touch. It makes it so you don't strain your fingers as much. Gamer problems, I know, but it is a nice touch nonetheless. Alright, we have another enemy room here. These are like little crabs they remind me of, kind of from... This game, I really like this game's art style, actually. It ri reminds me a little bit of, of the newer Mega Man games, which is not a bad thing by any means, and the music goes quite well with it. It's like kind of a... I don't know, it has like a retro 80s version of the future feel to it. Like the music, at least. Man, this guy's kicking my ass. Bam. I should also note that this game is in beta, so anything you see here is subject to change, and there may or may not be bugs when you play. Had to pause it to concentrate for a second. My, my apologies. Where do you think you're going, buddy? It does seem kind of easy at points, but, and then the boss fights go a little bit, kind of ramp up the difficulty. I know in the first level it was just like, you know, you could easily kill the kill the enemies. They didn't seem to do too much damage to you. And then I I fought the first boss and he he uh he kicked my butt. I'm not going to lie. So one more enemy up here. A little crab pincers on his his hands there, but that's no problem. We'll drill right through his little protective barrier and attack him. There we go. So I guess these are kind of like similar robot type fellows. Very similar to us, but evil, for lack of a better term. <laughs> I would like to get to the next next uh, stage and eventually fight a boss just so I can show you the boss mechanics. Although I can go back to the hub world and fight the boss from the first level. Who actually gave us this little drill arm that you are seeing me use. You know what, I forgot I picked up this machine gun, I'm just gonna shoot the crap out of him. Spam B. I can actually probably hold it, no? This guy has a lot of health. There we go. That should've- yep, it unlocked it. Oh god. So we should be close to the next stage, I hope. Wow, that's a- that's a long drop. Doesn't look like I can... go th oh yeah, I can. Didn't really see that little passageway right there, but that is okay. Oh wow. That did a lot of damage. These guys don't even attack me. They're just they just take a pounding. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna kill them. They're just chilling. They're not doing anything wrong. Oh god. I forgot about those red platforms. Alright. Come at me, bro. Time for you to get Oh god, dead. As I was gonna say get dead, and then he proceeded to blast me quite a lot. Oh, he stood right on that. I mean I'm not complaining, I'll take it. But dude, you killed yourself. Plus one life. Ah, I forgot about the, the little bits I've been collecting. My my apologies. You can collect these little bits, and they're kind of like the in-game currency to buy certain things. And once you collect a uh, hundred of them or so, you get you get an extra life, which is, well, always appreciated, because as I said before, the boss fights can be a little bit challenging. They're definitely definitely more difficult than the, oh god, fights like this. <laughs> he says as he's getting his ass, ass kicked. Where'd you, where do you think you're going? Come back here so I can kill you. Ah, oh, Jesus. As you see, I, I am tr I am getting my, my, my rumpus beats because I have quite a high amount of damage on me, so every time I get hit, I go a little bit further. Because I get hit harder. That should have opened the door, I think? No? The music is still going, so there must be another enemy somewhere. Where are you? Oh, it's just one of these little... Oh, no, there's a crab fellow, too. Die, fool. Ow. Please die. Thank you. I'm probably going to die again here pretty soon, just because I have a high amount of damage to me. Part of that is my fault for slipping on those little red things too, because I'm a big dumb idiot. This drill doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage. I mean, I can spam it too though. That did it. That done did it. Alright, I'm gonna have to go up here this way, it looks like. Just because I don't have another wall to jump off of up there. Okay, we did get to the next stage here. 
Alrighty. Moving right along. Stage two. Ready? Fart. I'm gonna try and just oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna try and just go straight to the boss room or the next stage just because uh well, time restraints. I don't want to be sitting here for 45 years. And that's not the game's fault. That's that's a good that the game has some longevity to it. You're not just playing a you know, a 25 minute game, you know? Oh man, I'm probably gonna you know, a little hit, hit me one more time and I'll probably die. No? I'm not sure how much damage you actually have to take to die. Must be pretty high, because I'm not dead yet. Not that I am complaining, but... Uh, I am I am getting my butt kicked more and more as I take more damage. Look at this guy, he's he's a go-getter. If you hit one of these, it, there's a little explosion. Didn't do much, obviously, but... Rocket punch! Falcon? Oh, oh there we go, I died. I, what, I didn't happen to catch how much damage that seemed to, to uh, be when I died, but... It must be like 400 or something, maybe 500, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see what parts we actually have. Press Y. Movement speed up. Uh, subtracts one damage from all received standard attacks. That's pretty nice. 16 damage, I think that's more than... Uh, I'll keep it off. That's okay. I like these little... I don't know. I, I just really like the art style in this game. It's very, very neat. If we hit one of these... What, what? No, it didn't really seem to do much, but that's okay. Let's punch through that and... Try and go to the next stage. They're actually throwing a lot more enemies at us, which is kind of nice. It adds a little bit of variance to the, to the fighting, you know? Instead of just... In the first level, it's mostly just these crab people and those little walking fellows that don't seem to do much. They headbutt you, but it's hardly effective and very easily dodged. Oh, forgot about those damn red things again. Oh, oh man, I almost fell. <laughs> oh, wow. They're really trying to stop me from getting to their boss. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, Jesus, I should probably try and handle one of these guys at a time, because... Oh, what the hell just happened there? <laughs> I don't know, but I liked it. It killed him. Did kind of a lot of damage to me, but that's okay. Hey, I can shoot you too, buddy. Rah! Use my Falcon Punch, and that seemed to do quite a lot of damage. It's probably my favorite move I have right now. I would like to get a little bit more parts. And apparently there are rare parts that are not as... Well, they're not as common as, as these little parts that are dropping. These standard parts, so to speak. Oh, forgot how to wall jump there for a second. <laughs> I'd say definitely use the Xbox con or an Xbox controller if you are thinking about getting this game. It, it uh, Jesus, can't get up this wall. It uh, definitely makes it a little bit easier and more intuitive to to play. He says as he struggles to get up this, this wall and, okay, this is getting ridiculous, Jake. Learn how to play. <laughs> there we go. That's not the game's fault, I assure you. That is actually my own doing. Jesus. Oh man. What am I doing with my life? Yeah, it's, just, it's more my inability to control my fingers than the game. There we go. We should be close to the next door, it feels. We've been do on this level. or been going pretty far on this level. I'm not even going to bother these guys. They're just chilling. They're not attacking me. You're a little... Nice little fellows. I mean, they're probably not really nice. They're, they're evil. Oh, that guy just tried to hit me. Now you die. Ow. Come on, man. After all I've done to you. Uh, there we go. Had to do like a super duper combo right there. Oh, another one of these rooms, huh? Oh, okay. Seems to be just these little leg guys. These guys are like all leg. I mean, if you're, if you're a leg man or a woman, then I guess that's good, but... They're mostly just legs. There must be another enemy somewhere. Oh, okay, drop more. Do my little falcon punch. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Helps if you hit them. Alright, I'm just going to shoot them. The gun thing that I'm using doesn't seem to do that much. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess never mind. It does quite a bit of damage. Got another checkpoint. That's always good. So when I die like a scrub, then uh, I have somewhere to go. Or somewhere to respawn to, rather. Okay, we are at the next stage. We should be able to get to, to the boss stage fairly soon. 
I'd say each level is about 30 minutes or so. I could be wrong, could be a little bit more or less, depending on your skill. Ah, a chest. So these chests actually contain either bits or parts or both, really. And they're scattered throughout the level. Oh, who we got here? Two shield guys. Nothing too concerning. Oh god. Come on. There we go. It seems like sometimes the AI just likes to stand there and take a pounding, though. Like so. I mean, they have shields which would block almost all my damage, but they don't seem to like- Oh god, use it too much. Where did they just drop? They dropped Mega Shoulder. I will try and equip it. Shoulder piece right there. Because as uh, it's going to reduce our damage, and that's always good, as you may imagine. Okay, so we got one of these little chests here again. So this dropped a part. What is this? Standard shoulders. Oh. Um. Oh, whoops. This is a boom blaster. I'm not going to use that just because I already have a better weapon here. That guy is a go-getter, huh? He's trying to, trying to kill me. Oh, God. He has a rocket punch like me. Okay, I need to punch down here. I guess it's really a kick, but, you know. Get it? Kick butt? Because I'm kicking butt. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, I just really like this music. It's like, it feel it fits the game real well. When you get into a fight like this, it just feels like it, this music should be playing. It, it's very well done. It's one of the great aspects of this game. And again, I really hope this game gets a steady multiplayer following, just because I would really love to play this online. It's, it's quite a nice little ode to the brawlers of yesterday, and I guess, and I guess today, just because it's very reminiscent of uh, Brawl. There we go. Is this a... a uh... Okay, I didn't realize that was a chest, actually. Should be pretty close to the boss room. I hope. This is gonna be hard to hit, actually. Let's try. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Trying to, like, jump drill. Or jump and drill down, kind of. Let's see. There we go. Ow. That sent me flying, but I, I achieved my goal. Let's... Oh, we have another chest over here. Let's get that. All the bits we can get is surely a good thing. Oh! That was a bad choice. <laughs> oh, man. Surprised I didn't just get dead there. Well, I mean, it got me to where I needed to go a little bit quicker, I guess. That's a... I'm taking so much damage. This is where the platforming is a little bit tricky. Okay, I need to get back up there and make my way across. I guess you can't say that the platforming is easy in this game. Some very precise jumps like that one right there. But luckily the game doesn't feel too floaty or anything like that and you can easily place your jumps. Is this another... yep. Let's just do that. Should have. Wow, that guy got murdered. Absolutely murdered. Just gonna have to go boop. That's a that's not a good place to stand, guy. You're just getting demolished without even a chance to live. I mean, that's good for me, but that's pretty much a bad day for you. I gotta say. I guess whoever. Oh God, Did that just kill me. No, but it sent me quite high into the air. This boss is probably going to be a little bit of a challenge with this amount of damage. I assume I have to go right now. Go down. Gotta be careful where I land now just because of that one part. Whereas like all that red stuff. Ow, hey, Mega Man, stop. Whoop. Oh man, he has some mad hops for a crab. What is this? Just a standard little thing. Uh, I was gonna say this looks like one of those enemy rooms. It's like when you're playing a first person, or not first person shooter, but a third person shooter and you walk into a giant open space with a lot of cover. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, and you walk into a space with a lot of cover. You're like, oh, well, this seems like it's going to be a setup for a large fight. 
Oh, we got one life, so that life we just lost is no big deal. I mean, it's never good to lose a life, I suppose, but... Let's use our drill. That'll get us through here a lot quicker. At least I had hope. Come on. Bam. I was gonna say another one, huh? Should be no problem, though. It's only two guys this time. Ow. I can do that too, guy. Eat my bullets. Seriously, though. That should... Wow, this gun does a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage. What is that? Looks like I might have to store some parts. These guys kind of remind me of, of Hitman Chop from Pokemon. That's what they look like, at least, to me. Did I kill them? Alright, let's store all, all these wonderful parts. So it looks like a rare part. It's glowing yellow, at least. Um, poly circuit shoulder movement speed up increases all movement. Okay, so it's not necessarily rare, but it is a pretty decent decent part. Could be pretty useful. Let's use our drill. Drill is like the best thing ever. Okay, next stage. Boss stage. What I've been waiting for. This guy's probably gonna kick my butt, but glad you can make it. I'm sorry to disappoint. I have no gift for your village. Ventu Village does not have something I want the hardcore, and you'll be my hostage, with which I make my demand. I don't want you moving around too much, so I'll have neutralize you first. So it seems like this guy is going to have some kind of stun. And you can see his damage in the kind of, oh, ow, kind of next to, ow, man, next to ours. Wow, that gun really does do a lot of damage. I always forget you can actually block by pressing one of the triggers on your Xbox controller. I'm not sure what the keyboard equivalents are, just because it's, uh, Oh, you can fly. You're cool. Maybe he'll actually give us those wings. Oh, look at you blocking. This guy actually isn't as hard as the other one. The drill guy. Just be actually, it might be because I have the gun. Oh, wow. That was a big bullet. Luckily, I shot it. I, I stopped him dead in his tracks. See, this is where it kind of gets easy, because I can just spam this gun and do quite a lot of damage, because this gun is kind of OP. 236 damage. How much does it do per... I guess button press? Oh, you scumbag. <laughs> He's trying to coach me into walking off the edge myself. Ah, stand still so I can kill you, man. There we go. 250 to... That's 16 damage. That's kind of, kind of a lot. Oh, I'm going to try and do my... Oh, God, that sent him flying. Two more times I have to do that. Oh, God. Oh, you just hit yourself with your own bullet. How does it feel, buddy? Alright. We're actually not doing too bad. I thought he was going to kick my butt, but he's, uh... He's a wimp. Bwah! I love that falcon punch. It's quite cool. I'm kind of interested to see, like, if this game gets a steady multiplayer following. I'm kind of curious to see what will... What kind of unique combinations of parts people will get. One thing I find kind of cool is that when you're... Go to the equip part thing... I can't do it right now because I am, in fact, in a boss fight. But when you go to the equip part menu, it actually does not pause the game, so it kind of is good, so you can't just pause the game mid-fight, equip a really OP part, ow, and sort of demolish your enemies. Okay, come on. Let me let me kill you. Die. Die. This guy is just standing here and take it. Taking it. I'm not falling for that again, dude. Oh, you just walked off the edge like a fool. Oh. Don't worry, he can fly. That's right. Oh, man. You're not uh, not too bright. You're just killing yourself. I don't even have to do anything. I can just stand here and you'll you'll kill yourself, buddy. Wow. Luckily, that thing's homing device is quite off. But if, you, if you're sitting here watching this boss fight, you can definitely tell how how it draws similarity, similarities to Brawl, which is not a bad thing. Let me, let me reiterate that. It's, it's a good thing. I'm not saying this is a Brawl clone or a Brawl wannabe. It's certainly not. It sits itself quite apart. Oh, quite apart from the, from the thing. I mean, it does have a story, but it's nothing... I mean, you're not playing this type of game for the story. And I actually killed him. Got a submachine gun arm. That's okay. So, I guess that will be... Look at these guys. That will be enough for this video. I mean, it, again, it's a lot of fun. It has a story mode, multiplayer mode. Uh, you can equip different parts and things like that. Go into my house here. And you can equip, find your different parts and unlock different paint jobs. I've only unlocked one so far, but that is okay. Kind of view your guy right here. Looks pretty cool. 
But yeah, this has been Megabyte Punch by Reptile Games. Again, it is in beta. It is available on Desora for 750. It does have a green light campaign. I'll put a link for all of those in the description. And as always, thank you for watching and see you wonderful people next time.